My name is John Fristashi. I'm the C4ISR market manager for ADS. So we put together a concept demonstrator vehicle that's meant to answer the problem established by reduced budgets and uh, the, the cancellation of vehicle modernization programs throughout the Department of Defense. So after the first Gulf War, the U.S. left all of its equipment on the battlefield, came home and bought all new equipment. Well, that can't happen today based on the defense environment and the, and the budgets we face. So today's soldier is going out into the battlefield using uh, a 30-year-old vehicle that was not designed for today's threats like IEDs. And they're being asked to go out into a dense communications and ISR environment, but they don't have the tools or the programs in place to get them those tools. So using COTS technology, we've come together with several of our suppliers like Granite Tactical Vehicles, Harris Radios, Synexus's E-Keel, and FLIR Situational Awareness Systems to assemble through COTS and Agile Contracting a vehicle that's going to be relevant on the battlefield today that outperforms the legacy Humvee by providing an entirely armored capsule for the crew and integrated systems that are going to allow today's warrior to go out in yesterday's vehicle in a relevant way. This couldn't have happened without ADS at the core. So our position uh, with, with our partner suppliers allows us to see the possibilities and our position with DLA and our agile contracting enables us to see possibilities that exist out there in today's defense environment that otherwise couldn't come together. What we've got here is in an era of DOD budgets regarding larger vehicle platforms waning, we've looked to maximize the assets that we currently have on hand. And the number one asset in the vehicle platform is the standard Humvee. The issue is the Humvee has 25 consistent deficiencies and failure points. So this vehicle, the Granite Tactical Vehicle, overcomes all of those deficiencies in five separate component kits. And those component kits are as follows. Number one, there's an up-armored crew capsule. That crew capsule provides 360 degree blast ballistic protection, as well as protection under the vehicle and a V-hull. Number two, we've got enhanced brake calipers, larger rotors, enhanced struts, shocks. There's a suspension performance enhancement, as well as a lift kit. All of this is relevant because it supports the up-armored crew capsule. It returns the vehicle to expected mobility. And oh, by the way, there's enhanced ground clearance, which is important for blast mitigation. Number three, we've got an upgraded turbocharged 6.5 liter V8 diesel engine. Number four, we've got a transmission, which has been one of the failure points in the current Humvee. It's been anemic. So Granite Tactical Vehicles identified and installed the 4L85 transmission. Lastly, in order to ensure that the mechanical components maintain peak efficiency, there's improved radiator and cooling systems. When you take all five component kits and drop it into the current Humvee chassis, the final weight is 200 pounds less than the current Humvee, all while offering enhanced crew survivability and taking the Humvee it's been plagued by problems for three decades and giving it performance enhancements that are unmatched. My name is uh, Bill Truding and I work with uh, FLIR Systems Incorporated. FLIR Systems makes a family of driver vision enhancement or DVE systems and situational awareness systems for all sorts of military vehicles. The driver and vision enhancement systems allows the driver to operate their vehicle in any conditions, day or night, and be able to pro provide a good image so they, they know what roads they're, they're, they're traveling down, it can miss obstacles or miss people or whatever may be in the way. Situational awareness systems provides, in this case, a rear view 90 degree camera, which allows the vehicle and occupants to see out the back in case they're backing up for safety or in case before they get out, look for items that may be uh, a hazard to the occupants and the driver of the vehicle. Likewise, on top we have a, a long-range ISR, Intelligence Surveillance Reconnaissance System. It provides six payloads to the operator. What this gives to the operators in the vehicle is long-range surveillance capability. So they can look at targets at a good standoff range in either uh, thermal 
or day camera. Likewise, it has a laser range finder, laser pointer that they can use and help targeting uh, uh, items that they may see and getting a good location of where that item may be. There's a lot of these, these vehicles that are, that, are, that are out in the service already that, that were produced before there was thermal driver vision enhancement systems, before there were digital radios. So you've got a lot of legacy vehicles out there with, that are with very dated equipment. What ADS has been able to do is look at those platforms and bring the new technologies and insert that and integrate it into one seamless uh, system. I'm Eli Edelkind, I'm the account manager for the Navy for Harris RF Communications. Well, inside this truck right now, we have the Falcon 3 and PRC-117 Golf. It's a multi-band radio, it goes from 30 megahertz to two gigahertz, and it, it covers all of the narrow band waveforms, plus it also brings in the wide band capability to network the battlefield. ADS has a group of best-in-class vendors that they use, and one of the added values that ADS has is they can bring in all these best-in-class vendors to collaborate on a project, which adds a lot of value to the customer. I'm Gregory Galaros. I'm the chief executive of Synexus Incorporated. We've been in business for eight years, uh, particularly focused on one of the challenges that tactical vehicles have, in that they have a lot of kit that needs to be brought into the vehicle for the soldiers to use, to communicate, to see the threat, to fire the weapons, to coordinate their activities. And one of the challenges they faced was they couldn't even get into the vehicles because the amount of equipment that was stacked on top of them. So what we provided them was really a cockpit and a truck. I'm a former naval aviator, so one of the benefits was is having a beautiful integrated suite and access to information. The end result was we became and are the market leader for integrating everything in a vehicle. The vehicle is clean inside with the exception that there are access points through our displays which are connected to our system about the size of a lady shoebox that brings all that information in, presents it for them, and displays it and shares it between everybody. Through them, through this mechanism, we've done this integration for them in a matter of days. Our system installation actually only takes about a couple of hours. 